What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video of the SQL tutorial series here on Neural9. In this video today, we're going to talk about set operations. So let us get right into it. All right, so we still have the tables here from last time. People, things, ownership and friendship as well as the sample data that we inserted into those tables. And today we're going to talk about set operations and set operations basically allow us to combine the result sets of different queries in different ways. This is what we're going to talk about today. And last time I introduced you guys to the concept of joints. We talked about inner joints, about left outer joints and right outer joints. And I mentioned that there is something like a full outer joint, but you cannot do it just like uh, j just by writing full outer join in MySQL, you have to use a set operation. So remember, we can say select and then for example, a person name, a thing name from people. And then I can say inner join things on uh, people or actually just P ID equals T underscore owner. This does an inner join. So only the entries that have a match are displayed. And if I say left join, which is a left outer join, uh, I get all the people even if they own nothing. And if I say right join, I get all the things even if they have no owner, but I don't get all the people that own no things. If I want to combine these two, if I want to have all the people and all the things even if they own nothing, and even if they're owned by no one, uh, I can say left join. And then instead, uh, instead of using a semicolon, I can say union. So I can combine this result with the result of another query. So I can copy this one, I can paste it down here. And I can use a right join, and then I can add a semicolon at the end. And by doing that, I make both queries and I combine the result set. So you can see all the matches, you can see the owner or the person that owns nothing, and the item that is not owned by anyone. Uh, combined here with a union. And this is just a result. This is just a combination of these two queries. So this is what union does union takes the results of two queries and combines them into a combined result. Uh, now what's important here is that when we have duplicates like John Doe owning a bicycle, in both sets, we don't have to list it twice. However, if for some reason you want to list it twice, so you want to have all the entries from above and all the entries from below and even duplicates should be combined by listing them twice, you can use union all. So select union all select, and then you get all these entries combined. So John Doe bicycle, John Doe guitar. Um, there you go, Jane Smith laptop, Jane Smith laptop. So you have duplicate values here. So this is the concept of union versus union all union gives you only uh, everything once. Uh, so the combination, but everything is just listed once and union all just combines all the results. Um, then there's also the intersection. So I can say intersect. And this basically means uh, we do a logical end operation. I don't know why, by the way, but for some reason, the MySQL workbench doesn't highlight this command, but it still works. Uh, so we select a left join, we select a right join, and all we want to have is the intersection. So what do they have in common only print that and of course, in this case, this would result in an inner join. So I would eliminate everything that's just present here or just present here, I want to have it present in both the sets to list it in the final result set. So this is what intersect does. it's a logical and, um, and then we also have an accept. Now an accept basically means give me everything from the first result set except for all the things that occur in the second result set. So in this case, if I say accept, what do you think will happen? It will give me only Mike non owner because that's the only thing that is present here that is not present here because all the other uh, roles that are present here are also present here, um, which is why I get Mike non owner. Now I can also say something like uh, left join here, or actually I can keep the right join. And I can add a condition, for example, where uh, I don't know where P underscore uh, H is above 30. And then I'm going to get a limited set down here. So I'm not going to include all the people below 30, which are included here. So I can include them in the difference here in the set difference. 
So those are the four set of operations that you need to know about. Union to combine, union all to combine even with duplicates, intersect to only get what they have in common and accept to compute the set difference. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.